Good afternoon. Long wanderer here again. <coughs> I don't know what happened to my throat there. If you're wondering why I'm sat here doing the splits, um, I'm just trying to get a good angle so you can see this pack. This is what this video is going to be about. Um, just putting the remote back. Um, just out at Woods again. Um, wasn't actually going to plan on doing any kind of video today. I was just going to chill out, but um, a few days ago, you know, I was posting some pictures <coughs> on one of the Buscraft channels. Um, somebody actually asked me, because um, they were thinking of getting one, about this pack. Um, now, this pack, um, I'd never be able to afford one um, outright unless I saved up for it. And this channel is specifically for, um, well, the bushcraft side of it is basically budget items. So this is obviously not a budget item, uh, but it can actually uh, fall into that criteria if you can get one either very, very cheap or on a trade. Now, I got this in a trade deal, so I didn't pay for it outright at all, um, which was a bonus. Um, I can't remember what trade, I think it was a knife. I think I traded for it, something along them lines. Um, so it's basically just a, a straight swap. Now, the guy who um, this pack, this Frost River pack used to belong to, um, he upgraded to the Frost River, um, I think it's uh, Junior, um, Isle Junior pack, because he needed a bigger pack. Um, so I never tried Frost River before, um, but for many, many years that I've always wanted one to try it out, I like the style, the look of them, etc. So I'm just trying to avoid spilling my tea. So yeah, I didn't plan on doing a video today, but I just, I just thought someone requested uh, I do a quick review um, and an update on this pack um, because I was thinking of getting one so I've not I've not had this pack for, uh, for very long um, probably less than a month but I have um, took it outdoors uh, with me every, every chance I get um, it's got most of my day pack gear in here. Uh, I've not tried it overnight yet. Um, it's, you know, um, it's probably to me, I'd probably choose something slightly bigger for if I was going um, camping or bushcraft camping or something like that. Um, just because of my the bulkiness of my items. But for those lightweight campers out there who can fit everything in a pack this size, then. This is obviously for you, or if you want to pack just like me, just what I got it for, um, for a day trip in the woods somewhere, or, or whatever, hiking, whatever. Um, then again, this is going to be the pack for you. Uh, pack this size certainly caters for my needs. Um, trying to get this pack into focus for you. Okay, so this is the Frost River. Um, called the Nesmuk pack, um, as it's called. They, they do still make this version. Um, and for those who don't know who Frost River is, um, it's an American company um, and they make really, really good quality traditional packs like this, as well as other things as well. Um, and for a lot of bushcrafters um, to get their hands on one of these, it's mainly of the uh, traditional aspect of, of it um, and for people that don't like modern uh, kind of military style um, packs kind of thing uh, and for people who want to shy away from that um, that modern materials um, kind of thing so yeah um, try not to waffle on too much this is the Frost River Nesmuk pack as in Nesmuk is as in the knife Nesmuk um, so, this is what you're getting. Do a close up. Bring it over to the camera. Okay, so this is not fully packed up, but I've packed it up so you can see a little bit about it. Give you a general idea what it looks like. Okay, 
Um, I've made one modification to this and obviously it's put padded shoulder straps um, which I'll explain about shortly. Okay, so down to the to the specs. So spec wise um, I'd say you've got maybe 18 litre compartment inside. Um, about a litre, one large, one litre compartment at the side here, and you've got two smaller pouches on the other side, which are quite handy, which is probably about half a litre each, litre, half a litre, um, so all in all you're probably talking about maybe 20 litre pack, um, roughly, I don't know what it is on their website, um, but to me, um, I'd say it's a good 20 litre pack, which is probably ideal for your um, for a bushcraft pack taking you to the wood with you. Um, so we'll start on the outdoor, out the uh, around the the outside of the pack. So and all the features on the outside. Then obviously I'll go into the inside. So the outside will start here at the shoulder straps. We have heavy duty webbing. On the shoulder straps really heavy duty um, webbing got nice very thick leather um, everything's um, heavy duty got heavy duty rivets here so I've got one two three four five six seven rivets here holding that in so really really bomb proof pack um, so we've got leather straps here with heavy duty um, brass hardware heavy duty buckles, heavy duty leather throughout on top of the shoulder pads as well. Grab handle, again very thick leather, uh, must be at least three millimeters thick leather on this handle, on this grab handle there, lovely big grab handle. Um, heavy duty, um, obviously heavy duty leather, thick leather, um, that three millimeter thick leather heavy duty rivets, stitching and everything. Um, so got one side pouch here, side pocket. Very easy to undo. I love these buckles, these traditional style buckles, absolutely fantastic. Again, same, I think these are probably slightly thinner leather on these um, than the rest of the pack. So in there we've got a good, a pretty good litre I'd say. As you can see, it swallows the whole of my hand, and I can fit my my thermo, thermos, which is about it's just short of a litre, but that fits in there quite snug. We've got a one of them Najin bottles, litre, and that would fit in there as well, possibly. I don't use them, so I wouldn't know. And obviously, that then straight over there so so yeah it's about it's a feet fits about a litre um, thermos or a litre water bottle or things like that quite easily um, there is no slips um, behind so you can't put any axes or anything like that behind the pockets um, although they do do a similar pack similar to this um, which is slightly different where they do have slips behind the side pockets, which is the one I was looking to get years ago. Okay, so on the other side, we have two identical um, side pockets, uh, which are quite small. I'd say probably about maybe half a litre each, something like that. Uh, again, quite spacious in there. Um, both packet, both packets. Both pouches are exactly the same, so I keep my first aid kit in one, and then the other one I keep my water bottle, my British Army Osprey water bottle um, in there, and this fits absolutely perfect. It's like it, it was made for it. Comes on there, obviously strap that up, fits in there quite perfect. Okay. So again, we've got three pockets on the outside, which is quite spacious. Again, we've got no slips, uh, no uh, side pockets behind 
you can't put anything behind there, like axes, poles, that kind of thing. So, which is a shame. I would like it if it did that, but can't have everything in life. <laughs> okay, so done the straps. Obviously, nice heavy duty um, webbing straps with heavy duty stitched leather on top of the shoulder straps. Um, make note as well the bottom of the pack there is no lashing points so you won't be able to put uh, a blanket or uh, any kind of matting um, underneath there um, I don't really need it for that purpose uh, apart from the seat that I'm sitting in but um, again it's not really um, a problem because obviously I just put either the seat underneath the flaps uh, the, the main compartment flap or down here and then obviously put the straps over the top holding my seat the stool in place so yeah um, so there's no lashing points on the top of the pack lid either um, which again is a shame but it just depends what you're looking for in a pack so we've got two buckles here really heavy duty brass hardware um, these aren't cheap um, typical cheap buckles okay these are very very solid brass and you can tell that um, just by looking at it and feeling it so they're not cheap they're not uh, they've not skimped on this at all uh, frost river don't really skimp on any materials to be honest with you that's why they are very expensive packs okay so open the lid there is no pocket or zip compartment on the other side of the lid it's just plain and you can see um, you've got again you've got um, heavy duty leather stitched on the other side and that's obviously to hold that in place and we've got two more rivets either side um, of the lid as well so very very solid so inside we have um, like a storm flap here uh, like is on most traditional packs obviously with the same buckle here so that just folds over the top of your kit and buckles up like this which keeps everything nice and secure on the top lid just like that so that's a nice touch keeps everything secure and dry if it starts to um, absolutely chuck it down okay Inside of here, although it's not really needed, but um, I always do this with every pack that I have got. I've got um, just a dry bag here, keeps everything um, obviously dry. Um, I've got all my kit inside, so this does not come with the pack. This is what I've inserted into the pack that I keep all my kit into, um, just in case it's really, really belting it down. So, again, part of the outdoor. Um, so the outside of the pack we have one more pocket which I think is quite clever which is this pocket here okay and it is massive you know uh, depends what you've got inside you know it swallows both my hands uh, it's like a envelope pocket there and it's absolutely perfect for stuffing extra items maybe um, a few food items or something like that which is again it's a nice touch um, so before we go obviously inside the pack as well as that we have this little pouch as well that folds inside and you've got zip really good quality zip um, I don't know if these are YKK zippers um, called, it's got a name called lens zip on it so I don't know what that is but being Frost River they are good quality um, so yeah, got quite a nice handy pouch inside, and that folds inside of your pack, so it's not, so it's easily accessible and it's not hanging out obviously to get damaged or wet or anything like that. So again, it's very thought out this pack. Um, so inside, um, all you've got really is just a just a bucket pack in there quite spacious I'd say it's about roughly about 18 litres inside uh, you've got nothing else in there except just a bucket pack in there okay 
laptops, you put your kit in, close these two flaps, I call them storm flaps, I don't know what uh, the proper term is. Very, very high quality pack, very, very high quality materials. Um, so that closes up like that onto the kit, the flap goes on top of there like that, keeps everything nice and tight together. Um, this is made from really heavy duty 18 ounce canvas. Okay, so you are getting really, really heavy canvas. Um, and it's wax canvas as well, heavy duty wax 18 ounce canvas. Um, which is basically Frost River's go to um, canvas material that they make um, and is on most of their packs. Most of their packs are out of, made out of their waxed 18 ounce canvas. Although they do do um, the pack that's similar to this, but it's more lightweight. Um, I can't remember the name of the pack, but it's got two side pouches like this rather than two small pouches and a large side pouch like this. Um, and that's made out of 10 ounce um, canvas. Um, not as heavy duty as this, it's more lightweight, but it's a tight weave, it's a tighter weave canvas. Um, whereas this is just your wax 18 ounce canvas. Um, so like I said, very, very high quality. Very happy with it so far. Um, but as far as um, traditional packs go, um, obviously there is pros and cons of having traditional packs like this so I've mentioned all the pros is extremely well built uh, by Frost River who's a very uh, renowned company for making these kind of packs top quality materials uh, they don't skimp on absolutely anything their quality control is second to none they take it very very serious um, you know three millimeter thick leather everything's reinforced where it needs to be um, heavy duty brass hardware, um, buckles and rivets and things um, and obviously the 18 ounce canvas, wax canvas as well um, so it'll last you a lifetime if you look after it uh, obviously the pros to it is, as most traditional packs like this go um, you've got to be used to carrying it obviously so you turn the pack over um, I've put these on just for comfort so these basically just shoulder shoulder pads um, that just slip on um, onto the um, onto the shoulder pad on the shoulder straps because these are quite thin so if you're carrying um, a long distance and you've got semi heavy stuff in it um, then it is going to really pull down on your shoulders um, so I put these extra pad in there uh, there's no obviously no waist belt because this is a high riding pack it's designed to go high on your back rather than around your waist uh, so it's only a small 18 litre um, pack well 20 litre in total 18 litre main compartment so you look about 20 litres in total so it's only a small pack day pack but it's extremely well made uh, very very pleased with it very well made um, so that's probably about it to be fair um, probably used it um, on and off for a few weeks um, but like I say as traditional packs go they can be uh, a bit awkward obviously because these are not quick release straps so you have to adjust them accordingly before you put it on your back you can't adjust these straps once it's on your back okay so which is um, I suppose a bit of a con really uh, rather than a pro um, Again, because it's 18 ounce canvas and you've got thick leather um, hardware all the way around the pack and obviously heavy duty brass fittings, it's not the lightest pack, even for a day pack. So um, it can be heavy once you've got all your stuff in it, but if you don't carry much stuff and you haven't got far to go, then you know that's perfectly fine. Um, but apart from that, Construction wise is second to none. It's, it is really, 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 really heavy duty. Um, again, if you look after it, it's going to last you many, many years. Uh, I'm sure it will. Even the, the feel, the feel of it is just superb, absolutely superb. Um, and I do highly recommend it.
um, and I suppose that's all I've got to say about it so I hope this is I can't remember the guy's name who wanted a quick review of this pack and its features and etc um, so I hope this um, helps you out um, and hopefully you might buy one if, if you can afford it obviously I can't afford it I got this in a trade so if you're lucky to find one in a trade or second hand uh, like this one is then um, it's definitely worth it um, whereas if you've got the money to buy something like this I suppose it's definitely worth the investment although uh, me personally it was my money I would get one um, that's got lashing points to it um, that's probably the only thing I'd go for um, yeah I mean I could put lashing points on it myself um, if I stitch some webbing on it or some leather on it um, which I might do yet I'm not too sure but if I was to invest in a pack like this it'd have to be suitable for my needs um, obviously my needs is probably going to be different to everybody else's needs um, but for me um, lashing points would be a big bonus um, but you know I've managed to work my way around it it's, it's not a problem um, so yeah highly recommend this pack um, and I suppose that's it that's all I've got to say about it um, <laughs> so I hope you enjoy that and I hope for the guy who um, requested this video on the quick update to this hope that helps you out with some of the features and uh, there's not a lot of videos out there on YouTube about this Nesmuk pack so um, I hope well there is some but they're not in English unfortunately so um, hopefully that will um, answer it for your questions and we'll wrap that up there so thanks for watching and look forward to um, the next video and so bye bye for now good afternoon <laughs>